Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm here with Amir's 51st and 52nd week of life updates. Yes, I know I kind of missed the boat on um, the other week because it's been really chaotic and hectic. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just jump right in and kind of go over the last week and a half, two weeks or so. So Amir is one year old already. I cannot believe it. We had his party. He got sick. I mean, it's been kind of a uh, crazy two weeks. Plus, we're getting ready to move here. So been busy trying to figure all that stuff out. Um, but yes, Amir's one year old and we had his birthday party on his birthday, um, Saturday, April 5th. I almost said April 4th. <laughs> April 5th. Um, and he was still sick um, a little bit and I almost canceled but at the last minute I kind of changed my mind because he was seemingly feeling better but he was not a happy camper to, at his party at least in the beginning later on he did warm up he saw his little baby friends and played and I am going to do like a montage of some video clips and also some um, pictures that I took at his birthday party and of course you know how it is when you're you know you're the mom or the host hostess at a birthday party you don't really get a chance to like you know video record or do the things that you would normally do if you were a guest so I didn't get like all the clips and all the video footage that I really wanted but I I got a decent amount and I want to do a little montage I already did a montage of Amir's first year of life I just wanted to do that more so for my own purposes but um it's just a little tribute to his first year and uh, all that has been so it's just really been a wonderful bless year and um, God willing we have many more um, <laughs> so I'm very very happy that um, I don't know I just feel really blessed to have a mirror and I don't know like that first year of life it's just it's really significant it just really is so <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, his party was a lot of fun, with the exception of him not feeling 100%, but um, he did warm up and have fun at the end, and yeah, I'll show you more um, when I do the, like, the video clips or the montage of that. Um, okay, so now back to him being sick. He got sick last week, Wednesday. Um, he, my sister said he had a fever when I came home from work, and it definitely was spiked. Um, I didn't think it was a big deal. You know, he gets fever sometimes when he's teething, um, so I just gave him some ibuprofen but it just got progressively worse his fever got up to 103 which I was informed is not really that high for a baby but to me that's scary and he was just so out of it um, the only thing he wanted to was to be nursed he would not he wouldn't eat anything not even yogurt oranges which are like his favorite things to eat he would not eat them um, he wouldn't drink water he wouldn't have any um, anything except for breast milk so my milk kind of like came back in it was kind of de dehydrating <laughs> drying up um but now it's like back in like full force like he's like a five month or four month old um because he was just nursing so much um which at least he was doing that so we brought him in to um this place called the urgency room it's kind of like a er slash urgent care but it's not as like intense as like an er um they did a test for a urinary tract infection i think or bladder infection something like that and it was not fun they had to do a catheter which was really ugh, traumatic i think um they did they just said that it's probably just a virus so they sent us home and I wanted to make sure that he didn't have an ear infection or anything, you know, or any infections. And, yeah, they didn't say that he did. So then we got home. And then Thursday night, he was up all night. He did not sleep. Um, maybe he slept, like, a total of two hours that night. Um, he was waking up crying and vomiting and choking on it. And we actually ended up going to the ER early morning um, Friday and they did some blood tests to make sure he was okay and trying to make sure that he was being you know he wasn't dehydrated but um, they said he was fine as long as he was nursing and the blood blood test came back clear it was just a virus or something weird like that um, so we uh, he also broke in hives and he actually still has these like not hives rash all over his body like all over red little bumps all over him my poor little boy um, but he still has them. He still has like risen bumps. So they said it can happen with, um, fevers that get kind of high. And then they told me to alternate Tylenol and ibuprofen, which I was doing. So, uh, he seemed really happy after he got back. He was smiling and playing with his toys. So that's why we decided to keep going with the birthday party, even though it was the next day. Um, 
I'm kind of glad that I did, and in a way, I'm like, man, he, you know, he really wasn't himself 100%, but he did eat his cake a little bit, you know, he had a little bit of that, he didn't really eat too much, but it was still fun, we went on with the show, and, um, yeah, so Amir uh, is still kind of doing the temper tantrum thing where he gets frustrated, or if I say no, he's starting to understand what that means, and he's definitely getting frustrated, and I'm trying to think of, you know, ways that I can, you know, teach him that obviously, you know, that's not really okay, but also, you know, he's still very young to understand these things, so I don't want to get, like, too extreme or too severe with it, but I also want to nip it in the bud. I know that consistency is one of the most important things that you can offer your child, so I want to make sure that I, you know, stick to a method that I'm going to feel comfortable with, you know, and not tr try to change all these different things because I think that would be really hard. I'm also trying to work on not using like possessive words like mine and yours um, because I just feel like, you know, that might be a I want him to be good at sharing. <laughs> I want him to, you know, obviously they're going to go through phases. They're infants and, or infants, and he's not an infant, a toddler, child, you know, they're going to have some of that mine your thing, but I'm trying to eliminate that as much as I can. So I'm trying to be careful about how I say things. Um, for example, he's been um, bringing me his book. And so I, I would say, go get your book. But now I'm trying to say, go get the book. But he does, he understands now um, book or whatever I'm trying to say, he, he understands it. He's saying, you know, when I say, go get mama the book, go get mama the book, he brings me the book. He sits there for about all of two seconds, lets me read it, and then he'll come back, um, and then he'll take the book from me, and then he'll try to um, read the book. It seems like he'll grab the book and he'll open the pages and he'll jibber jabber, blah, 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 you know, it looks like he's reading the book. Um, it's only one book, though, that he does this with. It's this, like, little tiny shapes book, but he loves that book. He loves books in general because he'll flip through the pages, and sometimes he will sit there, and actually I can read him, like, a full-on book. But um, he's just started doing that thing where I tell him to bring me the book, and he does. Uh, he's not really saying any words, uh, not really even mama. I, th I think he's said it a couple times, but I haven't really heard anything consistent to say that he's saying that. Um... Yeah, there's not really saying anything. He waves bye-bye. He has um, four teeth and two teeth on either side coming in. Um, definitely coming in. I can see it especially on the right side. And the other one I can see like kind of the outline of it. So that's definitely coming in. Um, so yeah, I would imagine they would all really kind of start popping up all at once now. Um, he is pretty much um, done with formula. I've started just yesterday giving him cow's milk and he really likes it. And I got him a new sippy cup with a straw and he seems to like that better than like the regular sippy cups that I was using. Those ones that I talked about in my buy it, thrift it, skip it. He still likes that one, but this is the same newbie brand, but it has a straw and he loves that. He loves sucking out of the straw. <laughs> um, and he actually really likes cow's milk. I'm really surprised that he does and he even drinks it cold so it's good. I'm still continuing to breastfeed and I will until I feel comfortable um, or until you know he doesn't seem to have interest in it. Uh, I, I'm fine with breastfeeding and I'm going to stick to mostly nights if I can but he's been still kind of in this like breastfeeding frenzy where he wants to nurse a whole lot so I mean I, I guess I'm okay with that as long as you know we're uh, you know still within like a good healthy standard of that you know he's still getting eating a lot and not nursing more than he's eating you know what I'm saying um this baby's new favorite food is hummus oh my gosh if he sees me get the hummus dip out he wants it like he like is like mm -mm -mm. like he really wants it he loves hummus um I found out he weighs actually got three different weights because we had an appointment and they said it weighed 21 pounds, and then they said 22 pounds, and then they said 23 pounds. So I don't know what he weighs. But somewhere between 21 and 23 pounds. <laughs> he is 29 and a half inches long, um, and we actually haven't even had our first 12-month um, or one-year doctor's appointment, but I should be have we should be having that soon. I need to make it. Um, I just I don't know why I have it haven't been on the ball about that and I am going to be doing a postpartum update um 12 month one year postpartum update probably not a whole lot of new things to share but I want to do like a you know like body clip because I've lost a pretty good amount of weight and just talk about things that you know 
I thought that would be interesting to know if I want to look back on this with our next baby, which, you know, down the line here. But <laughs> I am, yeah, I don't know. I, again, with the vlogs and the updates, I do like doing weekly updates. And, you know, I feel like I'm going to forget, like I've already forgotten in two weeks. So I don't know. I'm going to kind of see how I feel about doing the weekly updates. Otherwise, I'm probably going to go to monthly. I, that, but that means I need to write things down. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. And I do still plan on doing, you know, some clips and video, maybe day in the life things coming up. But um, I still need to get a quality camera that I feel comfortable with that's in our price range. So I really do want to, you know, start doing that. Um, yeah. So that's it. That's enough blabbering. That's Amir's 51st and 52nd week of life updates. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.